Hello there, everybody, and welcome to part 8 of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Okay, so... Now that we've gotten all the mixed up stuff from last time... You know, the fact where I failed to, you know, stay above water here. And then there was a spider, and then all the stuff with the treasure roads. It's time! For the Tropical Terror! <laughs> and if you notice that boss thumbnail, then you're going to be seeing someone very familiar today. Now, I believe one of the objectives for this one is clear without using a copy ability, so that's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do here today. And here we go. Hey, look, we win. Unfriendly fronds, Tropic Woods. All right, Tropic Woods. This game's version of I Took Damage. Yeah. This game's version of Wispy Woods and the first proper one in 3D. Now, Tropic Woods is going to drop all the coconuts on you. It's going to blow those little puff balls like, like all the wood, like all the trees do. And you can suck up these coconuts and just throw them back at them. But once you get into phase two, that's where things get a little bit more interesting. So first off, he's always going to do this. And then he's going to summon, summon up a little fence. And that is for getting all these roots in. But don't worry, you can destroy him, which is yet another objective that you can do. That gate is going to protect him, is going to protect themselves. So you best just aim for, you know, Tropic Woods' head. And there we go. Now this, I think, is a pretty cool, this is a pretty cool variation of Wispy Woods. Like, more often than anything else, like, if there's anything that these Kirby games can do right nowadays, is the variations on Wispy Woods. And I greatly appreciate that. It doesn't really feel like the same boss fight every single time. And that's great. Like, you know, with Return to Dreamland, Wispy Woods, you just, you know, go all over the place. Not really go all over the place, but he attempts to suck you in to eat you. Noble Ranger! Oh my gosh! Um, In Triple Deluxe, you can attack the roots. Um... Planet Robobot, obviously he's a robot. And did we click? Oh my god, yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, we did. The only thing that we didn't clear without taking any damage, so... Boo on that. Planet Robobot, he was a robot. And... Star Allies, he's just the giant freaking tree that goes in the middle of the screen and shakes all the apples at ya. So no matter what, I always appreciate the variations of Wispy Woods here. Always, always appreciate it. Now, minus one, we head back to Waddle D Town to see what's up. The bomb ability can be now evolved, and of course, Ranger can be evolved as well. And here's our boy! Wise Waddle D has arrived in town. He'll give you tips to find missing blueprints and a whole lot more. But first, let's get that asshole tree. You know, right after we review the cutscene of revealing the next world. I am excited! 
One Daria remains. That'll be the next video, though, because we have to take care of a certain tree first. And you know how we deal with trees, right? We burn them! We burn the trees! Burn the trees! Kirby is not a friend of trees! Despite what you might think, Kirby and trees are not friends! <laughs> even in even in this new world, even in this brand new setting and new society, Kirby law is always the same. If there's a tree with a face, it's gotta die. <laughs> I almost died right there. I almost screwed myself right there. Oh gosh. Okay. There we go. Burn him, burn him, burn him, burn him, burn him. Okay. Let the let the flames get him. Let the flames get him. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, my health has always been like that, by the way. I didn't bother to heal. Because I really want that second health bar just gone. Besides, it didn't really matter anyway in the long run because I cleared without taking any damage. You know what? If you just squint, Volcano Fire had Kirby... Volcano... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. That Volcano Fire hat on Kirby can resemble Goku. I don't know how it, I don't know how, but it just does. That is everything in Everbay Coast. All of the Waddle Dees and all of the treasure roads. But we got some extra things to do, so let's head back to Waddle Dee Town to see what we got. First off, this guy. How do you do? They call me Wise Waddle Dee. After I landed here, I found this mysterious book. It lists the locations of undiscovered blueprints. It also collects high scores and tons of other info from all over the world. If you'd like to know more, I'd be happy to share. You haven't missed any blueprints thus far. If I read about a new Blueprints location, I'll help you find it. The most popular Waddle Dee Cafe item is Maxim Tomato. It's had 3,273,820 328 orders. For pop flowers, you helped you helped 50 bloom during your adventure. The combined total of bloomed pop flowers all over the world is 255,743,277. So yeah, this is basically what the online functionality is for. Or at least part of it is for. You can talk to Wise Waddle D and... Oh, what? <laughs> 5... 5.80 seconds? For, de for beating traffic... Wh what? Hello? But yeah, this is what the online functionality is for. Well, part of it at least. Um, if you connect, if you choose to connect to online, then you will be able to hear all these world records. Today's top trend is Volcano Fire. It's the most popular ability in the world right now. I do not blame them. Volcano Fire is awesome. And also collects your own personal records too. And oh my god. <laughs> The combined total of star coins collected as of, you know, April 14th is 25 quadrillion, 277 trillion, wait, no, wait, 25 billion, 277 million, 401,124 star coins. Jeez. And damn, that's a lot of wolfies killed. However, if you want to talk to him again... And should you have saved them again? Goodness, Kirby, you love to stay informed, don't you? To award your insatiable hunger for knowledge, I'd like to give you this special figure. Huzzah! I believe this is for talking to him four times. You get his figure. 
When you need wisdom, visit Wise Waddle D. He always has a tip handy and seems to know a lot about this new world. His magical encyclopedia can collect and share rankings from all over the world. Where did he even find that book? No one knows. Of course, here you can also choose to update your data too. You already have the most recent data. So I should probably tell you, as of right now, or at least as of April 14th, this game is still in version 1.0, which is basically the launch content. So, yep, yep, yep. All that is good. And, of course, I want to get my gotcha... I want to get my gotchas in. Tulip. Okay. Get another light sign. That's fair. Another melon. An invincible candy. All right. Cool. Shotzo. Bouncy. Come on. Give me something good. Water tank. Okay. Give me another good one. Another waddle tank. A water waddle tank. Okay, cool. Another tulip. And ooh, an Alival Mall sign. This is this was the logo for Alival Mall, owned by the Alival Holding Company. Making life a little livelier was their corporate slogan. They ran a they ran a wide range of businesses, entertainment area arenas, food shops, service industries. Now the remains of those businesses can be found in all sorts of places. Empty and alone. <laughs> oh, man. We're already getting into the deep lore, are we? The deep lore. Which I didn't even know. I didn't even realize those signs even had lore for real. Kirby gained the mysterious malfunction mode after he, ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire dome into his mouth. Wrap around one of these and then twist it till it pops open. Think there's any good thing good inside? Only one way to find out. So we're doing pretty good on figurines, actually. Not really too bad. We got 48 out of, well, 79 so far. Well, now we got 49. Come on, let's go for 50. Yeah, there we go. We're done here. We're done here for now. All right. So let's see about those abilities then. Because we got several blueprints. So, yeah, it's a crash ability, hammer, tornado, drill. And let's hand in those blueprints. So, let's see what we got. We got Noble Ranger. We get Chain Bomb. And Clutter Needle. I clearly want Noble Ranger <laughs> because Noble Ranger is fire. Look at this. Look at Kirby. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him in his big old hat. And now he can fire pop guns. <laughs> and this is the point where, it can, where we can officially say, Kirby, I got a gun. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So yeah, you can freaking shoot. You can freaking shoot now double guns. It may not have as much power, but the rapid fire is really good. And we killed him. <laughs> we killed him. So that's all well and good. And here we have Chain Bomb. I definitely do have to admit that bomb is probably my least exciting one. But like this is still kind of neat. Like even my most least ex even my least exciting exciting like bomb uh abilities like bomb is actually kind of it's still kind of cool. Like here you can now link up your bombs into something. It's so that they can make multiple explosions. I think you can link up three no four. How many can you link up actually? Four, okay. So I guess that's neat. 
I don't really like the damage output, but, you know, hey, it's something. Next, Clutter Needle. Kirby's got multiple stuff on his head. Now, with this, is power, the power and rapid fire will be, you know, needles upon needles. Roll forward and send a sharp clutter flying at you. All right. So, yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. We can even leave behind nuts and bolts around around as a trail for for killing enemies with. I imagine they do do damage, though. Yeah, now you can deal, like, constant damage with that. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of chip damage, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna keep on... I'm gonna keep on my boy Ranger, though. Because I love him. I love it when Kirby gets a Glock. Because that is a thing. <laughs> That is a thing that I like doing with Curb. Okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, this one's a mini game, but I don't want to do like every single thing of a mini game until like the opportunity presents itself. So our last bit of business for Waddle Dee Town for right now is delivery Waddle Dee. Waddle Dee liveries. Hey there, this is Waddle Deliveries. We bring delivery presents right to your door. Just enter any present codes you find and we'll ship the related presents in and drop them by your house. Speaking of codes, there are a few present codes hidden right here in town. See if you can find them. Also, some present codes are shared through online announcements. We, we can hop online to claim those. Want to see how it works? Sure you do. I hit a present code on the wall of the house across from us. Go check that wall and try to find it. Any present codes you find in town can be entered and claimed offline. Pretty nifty, eh? Huh? Oh, wait. I probably should have asked this first. Do you already have a present code you can enter? Yes, I do. So by connecting online... Uh, you'll be able to receive presents via present codes. Um, absolutely. Uh, I, I can absolutely, absolutely thank God that, uh, there, that online, that online guides are a thing. Because, uh, hold on just one second. So long as you know the present code. You're basically good. So, Kirby in the Forgotten Land also has a demo. If you're able to clear the demo, then you can use the the present code CLEAR DEMO in all caps to get something really good. And uh, these are once per file, by the way. You can, you can use these present codes once per file, so... Feel free to use them. Feel free to use them. So with that, we get 300 star coins from that. These are going to be very, very helpful. Very, very helpful. I mean, there are limited present codes, obviously, for online things. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're, like, useless or anything. I mean, unless they run out. But you know what? Let's actually humor let's actually humor the guy here. Let's actually humor the guy. Let's see about this. Something is written on this wall. Let's see. First password. Is this a hidden present code? Yes, it is. Once again, just so long as you know the uh freaking uh present code, then you should be okay to go. I'll put a link in the description of this video for knowing all the present codes, by the way. Like, again, these are once per file, so so long as you start a file fresh, you're able to, to enter these present codes again. 
And for getting first password, you are able to get... You can get 100 star coins. Nice one. Now, some present codes can only be accessed after certain parts of the story, so... Obviously, we're not going to be able to tackle that yet. If you click that link, there will be spoilers, possibly. So, just be aware of that. Just be aware of that. Some present codes can only be accessed after certain story thresholds have been, you know, passed. Just so those were clear. All right. So, with that all said, we're all good to go. Whoa, it's an amusement park. There are so many rides here. I can't wait. I can't wait either, buddy. Oh, Wandaria is so good. Next time on Kirby and the Forgotten Land, we get welcomed to Wandaria. N E W. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching and goodbye.